Hello everyone, welcome to the weekly review of my daughter's 529 plan. This plan will get converted into an ABLE account starting in the year 2024 because my daughter has a disability and ABLE accounts are for individuals with disability and they're really awesome because they can function as a check-in account so you can use them for the daily expense of taking care of someone with a disability but you can also use it as an investment account similar to the 529 so you can invest the money into different index funds um, etc so i'll be starting that conversion process in 2024 it's going to take two years for me to complete the conversion process just because i believe the gift limit for the year is 17,000. So you can only convert up to the gift limit per year um, from the 529 to the ABLE account. So I'll have to do 17,000 in 2024 and then the balance, which will be less than 17,000 in 2025. But once I start that process and, and start going through it, I'll give more information on these videos for anyone in a similar position that have to make that conversion. And the great thing about the ABLE account, again, it is used for the person's just overall care. So that includes education, that includes transportation. So even though my daughter won't necessarily have a 529 plan, I can use her ABLE account for any future education expenses if she is able to develop um, at a level where she can go to school or college or any type of vocational program or anything like that. So it's really great that way. Okay, into the numbers. So last week was pretty tough. I was in a really dark place because the stock market, that stock market whew, just wanted to do me in. It just wanted to do me in. But this week I'm feeling better, mostly because of me and the money I put into her account, but there was some growth in the market as well. So let's take it from the top. Balance is $23,626.30. Let's go ahead and look at the deposits for the past week. So we had a couple starting on June 26th. I put in a deposit of $25. There's a 90-10 portfolio split in terms of any money I put into the account, how it's distributed between the two ETFs that this account is invested in. <clears throat> so 90% always goes to the growth stock, 10% goes to the aggressive growth. So this is why you're seeing the, the deposit split out this way. So on June 26th, 22.50 went to the growth stock that's 90 percent of 25 dollars and then two dollars and fifty cents went to the aggressive growth portfolio that is 10 percent of 25 dollars so just moving up on the same day on june 26 i put in 50 dollars and then on june 28 i put in 325 dollars and where this money came from is because I have a separate, if you want to call it, check-in account for my daughter's daily expenses separate from my expenses just so I can have a better sense of how much money I'm spending on her because I do track in detail every single penny that I spend per month. So she has her check-in account. I have my check-in account. So I realized that her checking account was at a level that to me was a little bit of a surplus. There's not a ton of money in there. I think it was about like $1,500 in there, but I thought, you know what? I could probably pull $325 from it. It will still be okay um, because I wanted to get the contribution amount for 2023 in the 529 to 7,000. So you'll see. So. Anyway, so I pulled $325 from her checking account and invested it into her 529. So that's where that money came from. And then on June 29th, I deposited another $300. That came from my paycheck because this is a pay week. So for the week, 
I was able to deposit $700. So that's a really, really big deposit week. And I'm very, very happy about that. And as you can see here right now for the upcoming week, I just have two deposits um, confirmed so far. They're both going to trade on July 5th. So one is for $70 and the other one's for $30. So I have $100 right now confirmed to go into the account next week. But of course, if I can get some additional funds, I will put money in there. Okay, and what I was saying in terms of putting pulling money from her checking account so I can have the nice even $7,000 contribution year to date for 2023. I am just so happy about this number. Didn't think I would get this high, but very content with it. Now we are just literally halfway through the year. So I'm excited to see where this number will land at the end of the year. Right now I have a goal of contributing 9,000. So I need to conjure up another 2,000 between now and December. And you might think, oh, well, that's plenty of time to get that balance. But I'm also in the process of buying my first home. So I will need to like furnish that home. So I'm not going to necessarily have as much cash available in some of the coming months because I will be allocating a lot of those funds to furnishing my new home that I will be living with my daughter. So we'll see. I know at the beginning of the year I was like, oh, there's no way I would like get to what I contributed to 2022 or even close to it, but I'm actually close to it. So um, that's really cool. So I'm, I'm going to push. I'm going to push and see if I can beat last year's number and contribute $9,000 to her 529. So we shall see. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the performance tab. So as you can see here, I actually have gains <laughs> in this account. I've had gains in this account for, for the past several months now. So happy about that. Definitely want the gains. Just keep growing, doubling, quadrupling, like all the gains, all the gains. But as you can see here, I put in $20,531.22 of my own money with gains from the market of $3,095.08. And that what that is what brings the balance up to $23,626.30. And just showing you the breakdown with the portfolio, as you can see, the majority is in that growth stock because 90% of funds go in there. And then there's a breakdown that I talked about earlier in terms of how the money I deposit into the account gets invested. Okay, so this is this is where we are at the end of this week. This was definitely, I feel, a big week. And, you know, we're almost at $24,000. Um, you know, if the market helps me, <laughs> I could, who knows, by the end of the year, do I even want to put it out there? Maybe this account could be at $30,000. Well, we'll see. <laughs> you know, we'll see. The stock market has been very up and down. So I try not to rely on it. But like, I wouldn't be able to put in enough money for this balance to be 30000 But with what I can put in, and if the market actually helps me, maybe we can get there together in a partnership. Okay, this is the latest and greatest for the 529 slash ABLE account. And I'll catch you next week. Bye.